Hello and welcome to How More Zoo. Today we are going to be looking at two more treats for some of the animals and I'll explain to you what ingredients I'm using and why. The two animals we'll be preparing treats for today are the ringtail lemurs and the java sparrows. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to need for the lemur treat are their maintenance pellets. So as I mentioned in our previous videos, maintenance pellets are especially designed for very specific animals and they have all the nutrient requirements inside the pellets that the animal is going to need. But our lemurs sometimes get a little bit bored at just eating the pellets. So we're going to spice it up a little without using any spice. <laughs> so the first thing I need to do is I need to soften these pellets because I'm going to be rolling them into balls and I'm going to soften them, soften them using a little bit of orange juice. Now this it really really is an extra special treat because our mammals, all of the mammals here at Hamwell Zoo, tend not to get any fruit. I'm just going to squeeze some of this over the top. Now they tend not to get any fruit, and although fruit is very, very healthy, fruit that we buy from the supermarkets in this country, or even the fruit that we grow in our gardens in this country, have more sugar in them because they've all been designed to be sweeter, to appease our taste buds. So there's so much sugar in them that it's actually very unhealthy for a lot of our animals to get. So none of the mammals get any fruit and the birds get a little bit of fruit every now and again, but certainly not um, as much as they do vegetables. So it's a super, super treat that I'm giving them just a little bit of orange juice today. These will not go to waste because these we will use to either feed our cockroaches or our butterflies. So I'll pop those over to one side when I go to do the invertebrate diets. So there's a little bit of orange juice in here now. I'm just going to move that around so it gets a nice coating and they'll get very, very soft soon. So as I mentioned, the main reason they don't get fruit usually is because how much sugar is in the fruit that we buy or grow in this country. I'm going to be using other ingredients like this carrot and there is lots of sugar in this carrot too but just not as much as tends to be in fruit. So a little bit of orange juice once in a while just as a treat shouldn't be too um, too bad. It'll be, it'll be absolutely fine for them. The main re reason we try to avoid high sugar foods for our animals is exactly the same reason as to why we try to avoid them or I try to avoid them but I don't but it's the same reason it's bad for their teeth and you can put on a few pounds or kgs so hopefully that's getting nice nice and soft I will prepare some of the other things that are going to go in this um, now I'm going to grate a little bit of our carrot now the other ingredients I'm going to be adding into this aren't necessarily their absolute favourite. The treat part of this meal is going to be that little dash of orange juice. But while they're enjoying that treat, I'm going to hide a couple of healthier things just inside to sort of trick them <laughs> into eating their fibre and all of the vitamins and minerals that these extra ingredients provide. So I'm going to chop up a little carrot. There we go. And I'll just press that on top. I am going to hide a mange too inside, a really, really healthy mange too. But the lemons are not fans, but they are very, very healthy for them. So I'm going to pop that inside too. And then another thing they're not overly keen on is just plain leaves, um, but they're really, really healthy for them. So, sometimes we have to hide them. There we go, and now that's all nicely chopped up. I'll go through it one more time, because I can see that it's attached still a little. There we go, and now we have, I'll take that, <laughs> that will not do, they'll see that in a second. <laughs> And there is the main components 
of everything we're going to put into our treat. I'm going to mix it around a bit. Hopefully these pellets have softened up enough to be able to manipulate. They have. So I am now going to mush them together. Now the, the most dominant flavour in here is going to be that really aromatic orange juice. So hopefully that hides the pak choy leaf, the mange too, and the carrot. So they will enjoy it all and not realise how healthy they are being. Super! That's all now lovely and mushy. So now we have three lemurs. So I'm hopefully going to make two little treats each for them. So I'm just going to ball it up, being very mindful of how big their paws are because I don't want to make it too big that they can't hold it but I also don't want to make it too small so everyone so one particular lima fee doesn't hoard <laughs> doesn't hoard the treats so I've not really managed to make six do I make two wee ones I can take them um, let's borrow a little this one's a little bit of a monster Let's borrow a little from there, and there we are. So there are our bald treats, but not quite finished yet because I just want to get that extra bit of goodness inside them still. We are going to cover them. In here, I've got niger seed, white millet, and red millet, and we are just going to coat them with this millet. Now they do actually quite like the millet, but the reason I'm adding it to the outside is purely aesthetic. And you might think that's odd. Oh wow, look at the mess I'm making. Um, you might think that's a little odd, making something aesthetically pleasing for the lemurs, but I, I, I couldn't disagree with that more. They enjoy their food just as much as we do, and having it delivered differently each day just makes it that much more interesting. As I, as, I, as I mentioned in the beginning, we use their maintenance pellet to make these balls. If you imagine just being served those maintenance pellets, which are so highly nutritious for them, but just imagine being served those every single day, even if you enjoyed them, it can become a little dull. So we'd like to present it in lots of different ways. As I mentioned with the chickens in a previous videos, the lemurs are on a two week rotor system with their menu and they get fed twice a day. So we actually prepare for them 28 different meals and this isn't one of them. Um, so we really like to explore their diet, present it in different ways and make it exciting for them. But there we are, after making all that mess, this are, uh, here are, the wonderful ball treats for our ring tail lemurs. Now I'm just going to rinse my hands because I want to make one more thing. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I wanted to make a, a little treat for our Java sparrows and it's a little different. Cognitively speaking, one could argue that the lemurs are much, much smarter than the Java sparrows and you can argue that between yourselves if, if you'd like. But the treats we tend to provide for the Java sparrows are a little simpler. Um, they don't manipulate their environment as much as the ringtail lemurs do, but we still want to make sure that they get part of that treat, even if we make them work for it. Um, it's very enriching and it gets them thinking and gets them moving. And that's wonderful, but also we don't want to make it impossible. So very, very simply, I have a cut off of mango here. Now some of our tropical birds, they get mango as part of their diet. And again, mango is very high in sugar, so we really limit the amount of mango that our birds get. But this is just um, going to be a little treat. This is not a usual part of the Java Sparrow's diet, but it's just going to be a little treat for today and I'm cutting it up nice and small. I'm just going to turn that inside out so it presents itself a little bit more conveniently for the Java Sparrows. And I will pop that in a dish. And as simple as that might seem, 
This is going to be super, super enriching for our Java Sparrows because we've, I presented it in a way that they've not seen mango before. They don't get mango um, often. It's not on their regular diet sheet. So it's going to be a nice treat and something very interesting for them to interact with this afternoon. So here are our treats for the ringtail lemurs. And here is our treat for the Java Sparrows. And I will pop them in their spaces now.